And then I get in a car and I'm about to tell her that I got baptized today. But she's like, oh, I'm on my way to the church. I saw it. You know, I'm like, what? Once Bree and I first started dating, we were going to church together. We were going to my grandmother's church. About that time, we were starting to, you know, have conversations about um, us finding a church home and us living for God. We went to one last service, and I was just like, you know, while I enjoy going to church with my grandmother, I think we need to find a church for our family. Honestly, Cornerstone was like one of the closest churches, like close to us. We were like, hey, why not try the church that's like less than 10 minutes away? We wanted to find a church where the Word of God was preached. And um, we came the first day and I think Chris was preaching about Joseph and I was just like, oh, and he's just going line by line, verse by verse. And he's and we left out of there feeling like we were taught something, you know, and that's what we were looking for. We came back the next week and we got baptized that week. He said that he was going to go and I was just going to watch online. And as I'm watching the service, it's so powerful, like just watching everybody get baptized and listening to what Pastor Chris was saying. And I remember so distinctly, he said, it might not have been on your calendar today, but it's been on God's calendar since the day you were born. People ask me all the time, like when you got saved, like I feel like I was always like around the things of God, but I wasn't in Christ truly and truly living for him. I just felt the Holy Spirit just come upon me. And I remember after he had said that, it was a couple minutes later, I saw him get baptized and I had no idea he was doing that. So it wasn't anything that we had talked about or planned or, and in that moment, I just lost it. I was crying and I remember just packing my daughter up. I don't even think I brushed my teeth yet. <laughs> like I was in my pajamas um, and I just threw clothes on and I got in the car and I remember I drove here and I sat through the whole um, last service and watch it all over again. And I remember when they called people up to get baptized, I just didn't even think about it. Got up, walked straight up there, and I'm like, I know this is what I'm meant to do right now. And since that day, it was October 1st of 2023, I have not regretted my decision one bit. I mean, it was the best decision of my life. Yeah. Uh, we came to Pastor Chris and we we're just like, hey, we want to get married. You know, what, what does that look like? You know, and he introduced us to Patrick at yeah. that time. And we told Patrick, hey, we want to get married. Yeah. And he was like, how soon? We we're like, hey, before the new year, yeah. you know, this is like <laughs> mid-December. We're like, before the new year happens, like we want to go into the new year married, yeah. you know? And um, our wedding was scheduled. We got married on New Year's Eve of, yeah. of, of that year. You know, God saved us from our past life and past sins and, you know, things that we might have been doing and ways that we might have been living. And, you know, some of the people in our lives li still live those lives or still do those things. And so uh, for us, you know, breaking free of that, giving our life to Christ and truly living for him, it's an example for a lot of our friends and a lot of our family. So now me and my dad are talking about the Bible, you know, breaking down those the barriers that keep people from God, you know, those questions, you know, like, no, let's open a scripture up. Let's talk about these things. And then for him to take the next steps with my brother, for him to come and get baptized and, and to be able to um, be a part of that, to help baptize my brother and my dad is just, again, all reverence to God, all power to God in those situations, you know, following God that just opens up just you know conversations and relationships that you never would have had outside of that I truly don't think we wouldn't have had those discussions we wouldn't have grown closer you know now we're actually we're family in Christ now which is deeper than what the you know just being my dad now now we're no we're we're brothers in Christ now which is amazing you know in itself